watch on. Uh, duh, of course we're gonna watch on. So, let's do a little video, shall we? Bristol, Pennsylvania, oldest town in Bucks County. There's some construction going on. And I am going to see what cool shit I can find in this town. Oh, sure. It is 309. Random kids asking me, what time is it? <laughs> At the sound of the tone, it'll be three o'clock. Beep! <laughs> uh, Mill Street Crossing. So, yeah, when I was a kid, because I grew up around here, when I was a kid, there used to be a pizza joint right over there. Right where the Mill Street Crossing sign is, that was a was a bar and then next to the bar was a pizza joint and then there was an ice cream parlor there were a couple of other things this right here I remember my dad said this was actually a movie theater when he was a kid so oh, you can see like the, the old design of that building which is so I always wondered, what the heck is with those little fountain things? When you turn it on, it's gonna, it has water on those wire things. It's interesting. This actually used to be a shoe store when I was a kid. I remember, I remember always getting shoes there. See what else we got here. Ooh. Now this, on this corner right here, used to be a five and dime when I was a kid. But those of you that have seen my channel in the past know that I have done stuff for political campaigns. 2016, which was the first election I ever volunteered with PA Dems, we used to have our campaign office there. So pretty cool thing there. Also, another cool thing is um, when I was when I was there, 2016, Bill Clinton actually made an appearance. Now there's some good coffee. This place, and ironically enough, it used to be a coffee place when I was when I was younger. It was actually a, more of a luncheonette when I was younger. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're all mostly closed today. <laughs> well, it is after Christmas. And over here, over that way used to be a hair salon that my sister worked at in the 90s. God, I miss her. <laughs> oh, this is new. I gotta find a new florist because my florist died recently. Let's see, the side doctor has been here forever. But they're pretty good in there. I've gone in there a lot. <laughs> this used to be an eye doctor right here, this naked brewing. There used to be an eye doctor in there. And then the funniest thing is that shop right over here. It says Bucks County Photographers, but it's really a tattoo parlor. One of the funniest quirks of Bristol. <laughs> These guys have been here forever. 
and I actually I actually know the people who run this because the family who run this the one lady was my kindergarten teacher <laughs> which a lot of people think is kind of strange but it's one of those little quirks with this town Ooh, look at that funniest thing is they're Italian they're all Italians but they have a lot of Irish jewelry and a lot of that's because there used to be an Irish shop in Bristol and then they got their inventory when the Irish shop closed so there you go Mignoni Jewelers since 1947 <laughs> The, oh yeah we're getting we're getting to winter and I will show you why in just a second like I said I'm not gonna go through this whole damn park all right here's why here's why I said it coming up on it but if you can see it, and you probably can, because this is a pretty damn good camera. There is little ice caps forming underneath the pier. So yeah, old man winter has hit. One day I gotta get some video in Burlington. I gotta see, because um, they said that they, they were going to take the elephant from Burlington Center Mall, which was torn down, and put it in the in a waterfront park there. So I got to see if that's the case. <laughs> I think I know where I want to I want to film right now. I actually want to show you guys a couple of interesting places. Interesting fact with the GoPro, and I just realized this, and I've had this for like what two close to two years now. Um, this thing, if you go and put it on 4K, it'll not only drain your battery quicker, but it'll also make it seem like as if you don't have that much time to record on your memory card. This is actually the oldest place in Bristol. Well, actually the oldest restaurant, I should say. They say it's haunted too. Don't know how true that is, but interesting thing to point out. So I'm on Ratcliffe Street, which is really the more historical area of the town now. Had I not been doing stuff with PA Dems, I would have had some really sweet historic Bristol Day video. But it is what it is. Ah, oh, the theater. You know, it's funny. I volunteered at this theater twice. Second time around, I 
I quit within one, one day. Never came back because I felt like I was severely underused. I mean, they had me standing at a door that people could ideally open and close them themselves. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Funny story about this um, building right here. On that very end, right there, used to be a barber shop. My brother used to get his hair cut there, and the barber used to chase me around with a pair of scissors. <laughs> he was a he was such a sweet guy, though. Hmm. Can't quite see this. Incorporated August 13th, 1907. I wonder what that was, but it says building erected 1949. So what was there for all that time? <laughs> Makes you wonder, doesn't it? I know it makes me wonder, but yeah, this town's really like one of those towns where very little happens. I know everybody on the street was doing like a 12 days of Christmas. I guess that's partridge in a pear tree. It was like every block had something 12 days of Christmas related. So that must have been the partridge in a pear tree because further up when I was walking this way, like I think it was I think it was a Wednesday before Christmas. I saw one that was five golden rings. <laughs> Funny story about this Wells Fargo. Um, when I was a kid, I used to sell Girl Scout cookies here. And we used to stand right here. We had one like right about here because there used to be a walk up window down those stairs. And then we would have something like right there and right here is a is like a another bank well actually i don't know what it is now but it was a it was a bank when i was a kid and i used to sell girl scout cookies here we used to always say to people buy a box of girl scout cookies we need flushing toilets and running water for our camps i'm pretty sure we had flushing toilets and running water but it was a nice little hook <laughs> And of course, I actually was in this Wells Fargo recently because I was walking up Rackless Street last week and saw somebody had their lost their debit card. So I called this Wells Fargo branch and I said to them, hey, I found a debit card walking up towards St. Mark Church. If I brought it to you guys, could you hunt down the person? Turns out they could, so... Yeah, that was my good deed for the day. And right there, that, um, it's an embroidery place now, but that used to be a pharmacy when I was a kid. And if you really looked, you would see that there, there's the little medical crosses if you get closer to it. Come on, I think I might be able to.
There you go, right there, you see? I was actually in there, it's closed today, but I was in there a few weeks back. A lot of the architecture from when it was, when it was a pharmacy when I was a kid is still there. I think it was called Fabian's Pharmacy. And there's it's, there's the little promo sign, Great IDs by Anne. So yeah, kind of a neat thing to bring up. And then right across here, that old building, the one side was actually where my dad's doctor was when he was growing up. And in fact, he got a bunch of stuff from his house because they, he was working with a couple guys to clean it up after. I forgot if he passed away or he was moving into a, moving into like an old folks home or what, but they were cleaning it up and here the, here they ended up with all this really, this person has some big balls. Anybody know the, anybody remember that ACDC song, Big Balls? Because I got that trapped in my head now, thanks to this. What's this? Stop the war in Tigray? Where the heck is Tigray? <laughs> is, that like a, is that like part of the Ukraine? I gotta look it up later. This is uh, Washington Hall, 1847. So, hmm. Three French hens. I saw a partridge in a pear tree. So that must be three French hens. I must have passed two turtle doves. And then of course the French flag, which will piss off some of America, but ask me if I care. Now, somebody, <laughs> I gotta find this shit out. But what the fudge? I have never quite thought about this. I always thought it was some sort of water fountain. In loving memory, Martha Parry Swain, erected by the Bristol WTCU 1913. Yeah, I think this probably was a water fountain because look, right here is a foot thing. So like very short people I think could get water. I don't know. I never saw that until now. Well, actually I did see it before, but I never thought much about it. Here we go. This is what I wanted to show you guys. St. James Episcopal Church. It's one of the oldest churches in the town. This place, it it's actually one of those ones where it's like, the cemetery around it has people f buried from almost every major war. And there are two interesting things I want to point out. One is a thing called the witch's chair. Now, the other one is Midnight Mary. I found her grave. And I'm going to talk a little bit about Midnight Mary in a minute. But let's see if I can find... The witch's chair first. And that's his date of birth, his date of death. And then underneath this is Sarah F. Wright. Now Sarah Wright was Merritt's wife. Nobody knows if Sarah is in this grave or not. That is why, if you look at it, you see 1851 to, and it doesn't have a year of death. Nobody knows. That's that's quirk number one. Quirk number two is the chair. The chair is interesting because this chair was put in. It was something in Merritt Wright's will where he's like, oh, put a chair at my grave so my wife has a place to sit. They say if you sit in that chair at night, especially around Halloween, there is a, you could feel the spirit of, of Merritt Wright. I've sat in it. I felt something. I don't know if it was his spirit, but it was something. Then of course, like I said, they had 
they've had like veterans buried in here like you see this the old, an old classic US veteran grave marker uh, so yeah I don't know with that if if he's buried there or if he's you know if it's his ghost or what or if she's even buried there you know so yeah that's one of those nobody knows what the fudge it is kind of dealios <laughs> so I know it's up here somewhere. It's Midnight Mary. Now, Midnight Mary is a very unusual story. Midnight Mary in, in like the, I think it was like 20s, 30s. I forgot when it was exactly, but I'll be able to find it once I see the grave marker. But Midnight Mary, she, they claim that she was somebody who went to a school dance and was in an accident this was um right around Penn Warner Lake which isn't too far from here and they say the legend goes that like in the springtime they will see people will see the ghost of Midnight Mary in their car let's see oh Wait, is this it? No, that's that's a William Ratcliffe. Some of these are actually kind of neat because like this. Yes, that is somebody's grave, by the way. I forgot where it is. Okay, I figured it out. And this is how you gotta figure it out, okay? If you're coming in from the entrance way over there, walk over towards, as if you're going towards these two graves there's this thing with the obelisk i think it's an obelisk and then there's this one which i always found very interesting because it's a looks like a pyramid of stones now what you're gonna do is when you find those right where this one is you're gonna go straight ahead for a few and you're gonna see probably see some that are knocked down because you know they're very old like I said and Gertrude W spring that is not who I was looking for because she died in 1985 this is the spring family plot and so gonna look George Pearson Gertrude Louise spring 1909 to 1935 this is who midnight mary is allegedly based on now the reason why i'm bringing this up is because if you do the math that's about 27 28 years i don't think she was in high school at the time Yeah, so interesting thing there if you come here you'll you know and you see that do the math because it just doesn't add up and of course if you come here too you can also notice that there are some the cemetery is still being used because there are some newer looking headstones i'll give you a good example right up here those two are very new but there's a lot of very very old ones some of them are knocked down because like I said this is an old cemetery why is it that Episcopal churches have red doors I like it don't get me wrong but I just always wondered, why do Episcopal churches have red doors? Let me know in the comments.
is something. Um, so I'm gonna go down there. Oh, <laughs> I actually just walked past my my um the house my friend grew up in. Her parents still live there, by the way. I think she lives in Levittown now because I know she got married about 10 years back. Well, actually, nine and a half. It's going to be 10 this. Oh, it's going to be 10 this coming May. I was trying to remember. I'm sorry. You think I would remember this shit, but I don't. Okay, so. Oh, God. Sun bright. Bright sun, bright sun, bright sun. Bright light. Guys, no gremlins, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> now, I actually wanted to come down this way because this building coming up is what used to be the high school. So, I actually wanted to show that. Old Bristol High. Of course, when I was when I was a kid, it was actually on the more on the other end of town, but and it still is, by the way. But I went to school with a lot of kids that smoked pot. So I used to call it Bristol is high. <laughs> but yeah, this right here. This is the old Bristol High School. Now, this now, of course, is a senior citizen center. So like the seniors have all different activities and everything, so... In fact, um, this up until last year used to be where I would go to vote. So, yeah. You can see it right there. Bristol High School. station right there other side has the main entrance into Burl Hall and the and the fire station and of course that fire station used to have have it where people there were employed some of them slept in the in the firehouse they used to have this really cool pole I don't know if they still do but yeah they used to have this really cool pole and everything and because i remember when i was a kid we used to go over there for fire prevention week <laughs> so interesting factory and this actually used to be a firehouse many many years ago it's now office buildings this is the mulberry and it's actually yeah, the firehouse at Mulberry. You can see it right there. And this, I think this replaced, this was replaced by the one over in Burl Hall, if I'm not mistaken. Another interesting thing is right there, Market and Rackliff, there used to be a little island in the middle where they would have the police station old thing this thing has been there here for ages and ages and then 
They got to fix that sign. Paint's wearing off. Okay, I'm just going to do a few more things here because it's starting to get a little late. It's probably, it's around like close to four o'clock. It's December. Also, the unfortunate thing is when it's cold, like it is now, it's like in the 30s. Your battery life tends to go down a bit on your camera. So that's why like a lot of people that do the drone videos on YouTube, they refuse to do them in like freezing temps because you know, that drone could just drop down. This is actually what I wanted to show you. It's a, there used to be a, a railroad that ran all the way around here. Now they kept this part because Abraham Lincoln made a stop here. Some places in Bucks County, it's George Washington slept here. Abraham Lincoln went through here. He was on his way to get sworn in as president for score and seven years ago. That's the new elementary school. Now, the old, the new high school, well, actually, it's not really new, but it's newer than what I showed a couple of minutes ago. That's, that's uh, across town, so I'm not going to be able to make it today. Hi. I know, right? <laughs> These people are, this town, has some of the has some nice people and a lot of the older generations of this town have an amazing sense of humor so like i said this is the new elementary school now this is not the one i went to growing up and if it gets jerky every now and then it's just because i'm adjusting the thing on my gopro monopod but yeah, that that, uh, that fountain actually used to work when I was a kid. It hasn't hasn't run in years. You know, I bet you if that was in a mall, that would be a sign that it would it's a dead mall. In fact, um, I should I should get a video of this because um, Raw Real Retail and the Philly Captain both did video in the Shamney Mall, and Raw Real Retail showed something really insane with the fountain in the Shamney Mall. So I got to do a video on that sometime. But whoa, you can see it's empty. The Bristol Memorial Fountain. Let's see, we dedicate this fountain to our forefathers who cre whose creative minds, working hands and energetic spirits built this community to our children we bequeath this legacy. Yeah, bequeath this legacy with a fountain that does not work anymore. <laughs> but yeah, interesting thing too with this elementary school is it's called Warren Snyder John Girardi. Now Warren Snyder was the principal of Bristol's first school. Well, not their first school, but like their first big public school, I guess. And John Girardi was actually the principal of the elementary school when I was growing up. He died in 1990 and they, re they reworked the name of the school. Now, if you guys want to know where the original Warren Snyder school was what well, was Warren Snyder when I was a kid but like around around like early 90s right after John Girardi died they changed it to Warren Snyder John Girardi if you guys want to know where the original was right where that hill is straight ahead And then of course, Grundy Skating Rink, which I'm gonna show you this, but then I'm gonna go 
and through the magic of YouTube, we're gonna jump over to where it used to be. This rink was built like, I'm gonna say 90s, 2000s, this one. It's more of a recreation center, but hardly anybody goes in there except for hockey players. And, and it's not like, it's not like a, anything big, it's youth hockey, but it's still hockey. So as a hockey fan, I can respect that. <laughs> so straight ahead is, this is the, that right there is the Grundy Rec Center. It's also a Pokemon gym, gym if you play Pokemon Go just saying so let's do a little change of that shall we okay if anybody's looking for and for their ass i found their ass <laughs> their ass is located at the corner of canal and beaver street in bristol so come and get your ass Another interesting little thing, aside from the ass. What did they do? Run out of W's? Cause this is, the building's called Canal Works. Right up there is the initials. It's CW, but it looks like they took an M and flipped it upside down. So here's my question. What the hell guys? Was it was it like you had a C on a truck and you're like, oh, I can't find a W. Oh, here's an M. Flip it over. Or did you run out of them that day? Seriously. Okay, London, you got Big Ben. We got this thing. The Grundy Clock Tower. They say it keeps accurate time. Let me see. Uh, about two minutes slow. Cause that says 410 I think and it's 412. This is actually gonna be the last part I do because as you could tell sun's going down but oh kid kid skating kid walking on the on the canal you know funny story because <clears throat> I've done a few Silver Lake videos is when my dad was growing up they used to take a cop car and take it out onto Silver Lake to test the ice. So it wasn't necessarily a cop car, it was any car basically. They would take it, put it on, put it on the ice, and if it stayed on the ice, then they'd be like, okay kids, go skate on the ice. So yeah, really cool thing to point out. And of course, I actually always wonder, is there, is there a bunch of cars at the bottom of Silver Lake now? Since they did that. And <clears throat> if they, if there is, then I fear for those ducks because it is a nature preserve. So that just, that's just one of those things to ponder, I guess. Here we go. I don't know if the flagpole was there when I was younger or what, but right where this fountain is, eh, that's where the Grundy ice skating rink was. A fire destroyed it in mid nineties. I think it was like 94, 95. Well, hold on. This preser this restoration project was in 97, so had to be like 90, 
93.94. So there you go. Actually, a lot of people get their wedding photos around here. I actually have a friend who had her wedding here. And this is the Michael Doherty Memorial. He is actually, or was, I should say, he was an Irish immigrant who fought in the Civil War. He was actually awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor. He was one of the first in, in this town to get it. Buried in St. Mark Churchyard. One day I'm going to find his grave because I do want to get video eventually in St. Mark Churchyard because there's actually some interesting things with that church. Maybe one day I'll do a video on St. Mark Church because it is a gorgeous church inside. It's actually it's actually the one of the oldest Catholic churches in Bucks County. So interesting factoid. Uh, the original Angry Birds geese. So wildlife in this lagoon dedicated June 1998 by the Knights of Columbus. Why is it every time I hear Knights of Columbus, I always think of the movie Anchorman because Ron Burgundy would always yell, Knights of Columbus. Then like they have these little dedication placards. Now the gazebo was, has been here for years. And the gazebo actually, a lot of people in the spring and summer will come out here and have their wedding photos done. So interesting thing to point out. This is why I wanna try and do some video one day around here because I know there's a trail over there because there's a guy over there walking his dog. But I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it when it's cold because like I said, cold weather and a GoPro battery life, they don't do too well. It's actually why when I was down in Philly, I had two cameras with me. I had my Canon power shot and I had my GoPro. I need to get a better thing for the power shot because that selfie stick, it worked, but it didn't work. Isn't that a beautiful shot? This, of course, a lot of it does need to be fixed as you can tell but they have like different things because this was really where a lot of stuff went to the mill so all these different little things This is where we're gonna just end it. Hold on. Ooh, there we go. So yeah, this is where we're gonna end it. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, follow me on social media. The links are always at the description. And until then, check out this view.